Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Okay, so I'm going to do a puddle pour with a swipe, but with a difference. So I've got some neon colours. So a couple of people had said to me, why don't you just have a bit of fun and play with some neon colour tones? So I thought, why not? Let's do that. So I've mixed up four different colours. I've obviously got an orange. I've got a pink, I've got a green, and I've got a brighter pink. So there's two kind of different pink tones. So I've mixed each of these with Floetrol. I've used one part paint to four parts Floetrol for the puddles. I normally do three, but I thought I'd just try it with four. And then this is where the twist comes in. I've got some glow paint. So it's paint that glows in the dark. I just thought, let's have a bit of fun. So I've mixed that with Floetrol as well. And then I've also got my swipe. My swipe colour is titanium white mixed with Australian Floetrol to create the lacing. So I'm really excited for this. I've not used neon colours before, I've definitely not used glow paint to see if it glows in the dark, so I'm excited, I hope you are too, let's see what we can create. I'm just going to take one colour at a time. This is a dry canvas, so there's no base colour, so all I'm doing is I'm taking one colour and puddling the paints on the surface of the canvas. These neon colours are so bright and vibrant and such a happy feeling. I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out because I've not really used neon colours before. But all I'm concentrating on is not really the end result at the moment. I just want to be really in the moment and really experience the here and now. And I want to just puddle my paints on the surface of the canvas. I'm just taking some time to really appreciate the creativity and really appreciate the feeling of being in the now. So I've puddled all my paints on the canvas and I'm now going to take my glow paint and I'm literally just going to zigzag that all through those colours and hopefully it'll work wonders when it's in the dark. Now with glow paint I think you have to almost kind of charge it in the sunlight or in the in the just the general light but let's just see what happens. I'm really excited just to add a little bit of glow to see how these neon colours can really sparkle and shimmer and shine. So here comes the magic Australian Flow Troll mixed with titanium white mixture. I'm just going to layer some of that on the table so I can then use my palette knife to dip the palette knife into the formula and then what I'll do is I will swipe on top. When you swipe you just want to allow your palette knife to glide over the top of the surface of the paint. You don't want to apply too much pressure. Enough pressure so the palette knife and the paint touches. And wow, I just absolutely love that lacing. I'm going to do that a couple more times. I'm going to literally 
take my palette knife, dip it in my white paint and Australian flow troll and swipe it. I'm going to glide it across the surface of the canvas to create that lacing effect. This technique can be so much fun. And like with a lot of fluid art techniques, it's really important just to have a bit of fun and to see where your creativity can take you. Look at the lacing that we've been managing to create with using this technique. It's absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna stretch that out now. I'm just adding a little bit more paint around this edge because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my canvas, feel the weight of the paint, I'm going to move the paint around the canvas and then I'm going to push off this edge first. By adding the extra paint will enable me to really focus on that centre point. It will help me to maintain the pattern that I've already created and the lacing that's created within the middle. I'm also going to add a little bit more of the Australian Flow Troll and Titanium White to my palette knife and swipe around the edges. And now it's all about creating that pattern on top and looking at the overall composition as you stretch out your piece and you push the paint over the edges. This is one thing that I really love about fluid art. We can have a number of ideas and concepts in our mind and we can have a good go at creating those. But one thing that I really love to do with fluid art is just to let all my preconceptions go and just really be in the moment and enjoy the painting and creativity experience. If it doesn't go according to plan or what I've already got in my mind, that's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself and be kind to yourself. You're an artist and you enjoy creating. You've got creativity in you and it's just about exploring and experimenting. One thing that I would say is never lose why you really wanted to paint in the first place. We all have different reasons for that. My personal reasons is to de-stress after a very hectic day. And I just love the fact that I can put paint on a canvas and create many designs. I'd love to hear why you paint too. 
so drop them in the comments below. So let me take you in for a closer look now. I'm really happy with the composition and I absolutely love the design that's created on top. There's a real mixture of lacing and block colour and that's what I always look for in this type of technique. When I'm doing my puddle pours, I love that infusion of block colour and lacing. And when you're stretching it out to get in the composition that you really like, sometimes it's about keeping a lot of the lacing. Sometimes it's about maintaining just the block colour and then other times it's just having a balance of both. Let me leave you now with this wet version and I'll take you in now for a look at the dry version and boy oh boy I absolutely love it. It's not a colour that I really worked with before but I'm definitely going to be doing this kind of palette again. The lacing, the block colour and the glow paint have worked really well together. The dried version is just as beautiful, I hope you agree. And I've really enjoyed working with this colour palette. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you've had fun watching. And if you try this yourself, let me know how you get on. I'd love to hear what you're creating at the moment and whether you're using any neon or glow paints within your creations. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for all your love and support. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.